It's rolling. It's rolling far. Oh man. Hopefully it stops soon. Here, Allie and I uh, in the back country of Idaho getting ready to ride the quad seven miles to a trailhead where we're going to hike in uh, up a ridge and uh, get up in 2,000 feet, three miles or so, and set up camp and hopefully glass up some billies. Uh, we're looking at three days for the first stint. If we don't see anything in those first three days, we're going to move uh, drainages to a different drainage. For another couple days, we have seven or eight days of hunting ahead of us. We're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a blast. Uh, just Allie and I out here spotting and hopefully stalking. And uh, hopefully, eventually, we'll come back to you with, uh, with the mountain goat down. So this is uh, what we call bushwhacking, which means that there's no trail cut, obviously. And you just kind of start walking. There's always trees down that you climb over, step on, crack, break, hope you don't fall. And that's pretty typical, pretty typical. Year. But we're making it into our, into our first spot we're going to try for mountain goats. We've seen, we have seen some in the summer in here. Plus, I think that they may start using it more in the fall and to have a trail camera. So, we'll see what kind of action we have on that. Josh just spotted his first goat. This is our first Billy spotted. We're about halfway up into this drainage on our hike. I just happened to throw the binos up because it was a pretty rocky section. Sure enough, there's a goat up there. It looks to be a younger billy. Doesn't have super long horns, which if it's noticeable, that means that they're pretty small because once they get to a certain size, they all kind of look the same. Our second goat on the way into our camp spot where we're gonna camp set up. This goat is a smaller body than the first one we saw, which was still not quite as big as we've seen in some other spots. 
but it's pretty cool to be able to see uh, goats on the way in to where you're going. We ran into some elk hunters who told us that um, they've seen some goats up in here at the head of the drainage as well. So we should uh, hopefully maybe find something that we that we think is a decent billy. Um, but yeah, just goats on that uh, smooth slope above the trees there. It wouldn't be too difficult to get to him or her. Um, but it's just not a not a very old goat. Doesn't have a very big shoulder hump. We're gonna be uh, sliding up. Going up right around that left side there, through there's like a little saddle to get up into the head of this drainage, which is beyond this ridge. So that's what our plans are. All right, we made it to our camp spot here. As soon as we looked up, we actually sort of bumped this billy it's right in the middle of the screen here. Now we're on a debate whether what he is. He's about 480 yards away right now, which I can't make that kind of a shot, but I can cut some distance. Of course, he's going up, so we have to make a decision fast. Anyway, we're, there's a goat to our right, too, across the basin. There's a lot of goats around. After getting into 300 yards and the goat we had spotted upon making it to camp, I just couldn't make myself think that the goat was a billy, which was a good thing too because I finally saw it squat and pee, signifying that it was indeed not a mature billy. We hadn't even really started hunting and had already gotten into 300 yards of a goat, so I was very happy just taking it all in.
first spot that we were in uh, looking for goats. We saw quite a few goats up here um, in our first two and a half days. Uh, but most of them were nannies, we determined, uh, with pretty dang thin horns and short horns. Um, we saw a lot of goats that way in this unit. Uh, we're talking four or five miles away. So we're pulling out of this location since we gave it uh, a number of mornings and evenings and days um, to see the billies that we're looking for. We're going to go to another area where we have seen a couple billies in the summertime as well. So uh, hopefully it proves fruitful for us. We're about three quarters of the way out of here. Um, it's about actually a four and a half to five mile hike with no trail. There's remnants of elk trails and whatnot, but a lot of deadfall. We're about to undertake a really stiff deadfall section here. So uh, hopefully we get into our new spot by this evening and can maybe put some eyes on some, some goats, maybe find a billy, see what happens. Keep on grinding, <coughs> just taking a water break. We had made the move to a new drainage the previous evening. We found this group of billies an hour after first light on our second glassing point of the morning. There were four in the group and we knew it was a band of billies due to the body size and continuous curve and thickness of the horns. We just topped out on this ridge here. We got some goats left off of a, a ridge line that goes that way. They're bedded, so we just topped out. Now hopefully we can go along the back side of this ridge, pop over, stay out of sight, maybe get close enough for a shot. We'll see. Today's Tuesday. We've been out here since Saturday afternoon. It's our second location. It's all good goat country in here. We're working on our stock here. We're kind of getting in position to make the final stock. We gotta get over to that saddle, across this steep scree slide. We made it to the location on the ridge running perpendicular to where the goats were bedded, a spot where we had a great view of them. It ended up being 575 yards from their location, which meant that either they were going to need to walk down the ridge closer to us, or I was going to have to take the fight to them. He's not dead, he's just sleeping. After waiting an hour or so, one of the goats had moved up and right of their bedding location, so I knew they weren't going to cut the distance for us. I prepared to make a stock and try to make it happen. Okay, so Josh left about 20 minutes ago to go stock three billies we've been watching all morning on the mountain over there. I stayed up here on the ridge where we're about 577 yards away. He needs to get at least 300 stay out of sight and try to get a stock on these billies. There's 
After leaving Allie at our glassing location, I worked my way along the back of the ridge to stay out of sight of the goats. If the goats were bedded at the bottom of a letter T, the ridge was the cross of the T. There was a finger ridge that came down from the ridge Allie and I were on, so I needed to get beyond that, which would allow me to drop down into a basin without the mountain goats seeing me. Once into the basin, I could drop enough elevation to then work back toward the bedded goats and make my way up to them using a saddle to get onto their ridge line. Once into this saddle, I could make my way up toward the goats, through the trees, out of sight, and fortunately with a crosswind. So Josh is down there right now, um, stalking on these goats. He's doing great. Nothing is spooky. sights from what I can see. I think he might be taking a shot. I gotta look through the scope. I think he's getting ready to take a shot. It looks like he is. Yeah, he's getting ready. The goat is right there. He's getting closer. He's taking steps forward. Okay. Okay. I think Josh is getting into a clear view. I think he had trees in his way. There's a goat on that rocky bluff in the middle of the mountain. This is so nerve-wracking to watch and to see the whole thing play out. You just hope that he sees the same thing you do. So let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, so there's a goat on that rocky bluff. You can see that white dot right there in the middle. Sorry, it's so shaky. I'm looking through Bino as a spotting scope and trying to run the camera all at the same time. There's the goat. Josh is in those trees. I guess Josh is just waiting for a good clean shot. Maybe waiting for it to turn broadside. I don't know what's happening. 
brush. There's a goat down and to his left, and he's shooting up and to the left. So I'm not sure what's going on. I couldn't tell you. Josh just took a shot. Another shot. shot that billy. He got up from that bush and went after that billy. So he did good. There must be an edge there that he can't see it as much as I thought he could. <laughs> okay. You can see his shadow going down. Woohoo! Hopefully that's a dead goat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Josh doesn't know it yet. But he's got himself a dead goat. That white spot right there is the goat. And Josh is right up there. He doesn't know it yet. Maybe he does know it since he took another shot. It's rolling. Going far. Still going. Oh man. Hopefully it stops soon. Okay. I'm gonna pack up and head down the trail. And meet Josh down there. All right. <clears throat> Got my mountain goat for Idaho once in a lifetime. Oh man. There were four billies in a, in a group, actually. They're still banded up somehow. And I had to go all the way across the top of that ridge way back there, drop down to the basin over here, come up to that saddle there. And then work my way up this ridge line, this, this close ridge, and turns out there was a goat. And I shot that thing at about 30 yards with my rifle. Um, I was I was right there and by that where you can see the, the small little bush on the right. That's where I was for a while and I heard him down here. I had peeked over and saw his back. And then the thing is, is you just don't know which which one of the four was he. But um Two of them had moved off earlier in the afternoon, so there's actually only two left. They were bedded up here. And then um, <clears throat> Allie gave me a yellow flag, which means that they went left. So I knew they went left. Um, Allie's over here. She's walking up that ridge right there. I don't know if you can see her. She was pitched over there watching the whole thing. Anyhow, so I don't know which one of the two he was. For a while, I went back and forth in my head whether I should care or not when I was laying there. One was a little bit bigger than the other one. It's incredibly difficult. I mean, I, I it's, so when I ultimately came up, you know, he looked at me. I don't know which which one he was, honestly. And I think I'm okay with that. But he, uh, I shot him once right there. <clears throat> came over here. I shot him again right before he went around this uh, bend. Sadly, he rolled to the bottom, but we have a goat down there laying. So, wow. Whenever you kill something, especially something that's like once in a lifetime, it's a, uh, it's like, it's over. It was a blast with, with my wife, Allie. We had a great time. I think this is Tuesday, we came on Saturday, so I don't know how many days that is. Four days or so. We went, hiked in five miles, hiked out five miles, came to a different area. It just seems like there's more goats over here. It's a little easier to access it, but 
It's just the way it is. There's another perspective of Josh's goat. So we spotted them up on the ridge this morning, right in that bald spot between the trees. There are four goats up there, and then they bedded right there by that rocky bluff to the right. And so Josh and I hiked up to this mountain I'm on, and then we glassed them up for probably three hours. And then Josh hiked over there from the top of the mountain, and he was right in that little tree section to the right, and that goat was on the rocky bluff to the left, and he shot it, and it came down this drainage here. See that little white spot right, right between the sun and the shade. So, pretty good job, Josh. Allie and I made our way down our respective mountains and met at the bottom, below the mountain goat. We shared the excitement of an amazing day in the mountains and made the climb up to the down goat with an immense respect and feeling of accomplishment. Basically, a huge battle, and all the goats is just ID in their uh, whether they're nannies or, or billies. And I mean, once you see billies, you can, they're billies. But we saw a lot of nannies early on, so I kept wondering. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is my once in a lifetime goat. Allie was there to watch it from the top of the ridge. And, this is, this is what it's all about. Couldn't be more happier. <laughs> this is sweet. Sick. Okay, this is my 2020 mountain goat here in Idaho. Um, again, this is some phenomenal country. So fortunate and blessed to have drawn this tag. It's a 4% chance of drawing, really. Two tags in this unit. Um, God really blessed me on that. Uh, and then just Allie and I, uh, Allie supporting all this stuff and, and she loves the mountains too. Uh, we spent a lot of time out here in the summer scouting and walking these ridges and, and all this grand country. Um, so just have to thank her a ton. Uh, she was up on the ridge glassing when I made the move on this at 30 yards with a 300 win mag. Um, I know she was uh, pretty pumped. She was on the on the ridge skylit just uh, giving me fist pumps. So this is a great moment for her and I and great weather, great hunting partner, great goat. Doesn't get much better. Uh, just praise the Lord. <laughs>